for today's episode so we are basically just going to talk about what salah is the basics of salah and why do we even pray why should we even pray solar <laughs> and the importance of solar and then we go into the types of solar in islam in islam there are five pillars that hold the whole religion so if you're a muslim you are supposed to sort of imbibe these five pillars in your life solar is the second most important pillar of islam the first pillar of islam is the shahada which basically means um, you believe that there's only one God, that is Allah, and then you believe that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is his messenger, is Allah's messenger. And so Salah is the second most important pillar of Islam. It's a ritual prayer Muslims make to Allah five times daily, from dawn or before dawn to dusk, and even after dusk. Salah is one of the distinguishing factors, you know, of Islam from the other religions. It is so important. Like there are so many verses in the Quran and there are so many ahadith where the Prophet stressed on Muslims not forgetting their salah. But one of these hadith that I really like was um, narrated by Anas radiallahu anhu. He was just talking about how the Prophet was on his deathbed but at the same time he was dying, he, was, he kept reminding his companions, he kept advising them that they should not um, forget their salah, they should fear like having to neglect their salah, they should keep, like, he kept reminding them not to forget their salah. Till, his la till he was saying his last word, he kept saying those words. This really shows like how important salah is and there are a lot of Quranic verses as well that just shows um, the importance of Salah that shows that Salah is not something we should be neglecting as Muslims. You know, like those um, videos that say, no matter what you are doing, pray. If you are singing, pray. If you feel like don't pray. If you feel like you don't want to pray, pray. You know, that that's, I'm sure a lot of us have seen those videos. That is very true because there's this verse in the Quran that just talks about how we should take care of our obligatory prayers. Those are the five daily prayers. And so Salah is like is is a really important factor of being a Muslim. Allah said in his Quran that He did not create the jinn kind and mankind, but for only one purpose, which is to serve Him, to worship Him. Okay? And when I think about service to Allah, I think about prayer. Okay, it's just servitude to God. It's just you fulfilling what you were on this earth to fulfill. You are worshiping Allah and prayer. I think I feel and I know is one way to serve Allah. It's, it's just servitude to Allah. It number one, it gives us connection um, to the Creator, the Arab. For me, when I pray, I just feel like I know this is cliche and a lot of people say this, but. It feels almost like you're having a conversation with someone who knows what you are going through. For me, it creates that sort of connectedness between myself and the Creator. I feel a certain, a certain closeness. Um, another reason why it's important for Muslims to pray is because um, the more you pray, the more your sins are forgiven. We are on this earth, like we commit sins on a daily. And when you constantly pray, it's like your sins are constantly forgiven. It says that um, when you pray just one raka, you get like 10 blessings or 10 rewards. So just imagine you genuinely and sincerely pray your five daily prayers every single day. Just imagine like how, how much sin is wiping away do you get. So that's another reason why it's important for us as Muslims to pray. Another reason I really like, I feel like prayer brings us peace. It brings us, um, like I said, connectedness to the Creator, to nature, like two things. Um, there's a verse in the Quran that says, um, prayer brings um, solace to the heart. It brings peace to the mind, to the soul. Really true. How many of us have been in like very troubling um situations where you just fall in prayer and you just 
cry your eyes out and you come out of that prayer and you feel a lot light, la, lighter. Okay, so now that we've talked about what solar is and why we as Muslims pray and the importance of prayer, I want to move on to the types of prayer in Islam. So like I said, Muslims pray five times a day. So that is one type of salah that is called the fard salah. Fard in the Arabic language basically means compulsory. So these are the compulsory prayers, the five daily prayers, the ones we pray um, during Fajr, Dhuhr, Asr, Maghrib and Isha. Those are compulsory prayers. Those are prayers Muslims are not supposed to miss. As a Muslim watching this video, you should try. I promise you, I know it is not easy. But you should endeavor to pray five times a day. And we have um, other types of prayers which I would categorize as nawafil. These are like, they are not compulsory prayers. But some of them are like highly advised for us to pray. That's where we have Shafir Ritter, um, the two raka before Fajr, and Tahajju. So those are some of the examples of nawafil. Um, in my next video, I'm going to talk about purification before prayers. Let me know if you guys have any questions about ablution specifically or purification because that's what I'm going to talk about next week. Let me know if you have any questions on that and I'll just um, use that as a template to do the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned a thing or two. Let me know what you think in the comments and... Let me know if you want me to talk about specific things when it comes to prayers. And if those are not in my timetable already, I would see how I can chip it in. And then we would, you know, take it from there. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye. Assalamu alaikum.